Let us start seeing some aspects of uh, QRM or Curator Risk Manager in action. We are here on the dashboard. I don't have many, many things on this uh, particular dashboard on QRM, but you can see that we can see policies that have passed and failed. We more, more on that later. But let's go straight into the Risk Manager tab. And here we see the topology of the test network that we have uh, uh, in here. You can uh, actually, you know, from, from the topology, there are many things you can actually do. Uh, you, you can uh, right click on the topology and, and see the, the configuration information. But let's see it from the configuration monitor section. So I click here on configuration um, monitor. And in here, we are going to be able to. Um, to see the, the different configuration of the firewalls, routers, and devices that we have in here. So let's click on this one, for example, this uh, external firewall. And if we click on it, we see here that the, uh, all the normaliz normalized uh, uh, actions, you know, deny, accept, uh, things typical of a firewall. We actually see here that we have a shadow rule. Uh, you know, that, that's interesting uh, to actually uh, see that and we can actually go here we have we can see ACLs rules etc like we're seeing right now but uh, we can actually go into the history and we see two configuration curator automatically and you you set up set this up in the admin console we can show that later uh, gets uh, uh, the configuration information of the particular firewalls we can actually uh, click on one of them and if we double click on it we actually see the XML of the raw data that we actually uh, normalize so but we can actually uh, perform a comparison let's say well what happened what changed between this configuration and this other one so you can select one and mark it for uh, for uh, comparison then click on the other one and, and select compare compare selected and what you get is, uh, you know, in, in green is the rules that were added, red removed, and yellow what, what actually changed. You can actually see, you know, uh, th that comparison. Um, that's uh, simple. You can actually do comparison between uh, elements of, uh, of the different firewalls. So, for example, we have this one here that is being uh, marked for comparison, right? And we can actually go into uh, back into all devices and select uh, another uh, firewall. Take take uh, uh, any one configuration and actually uh, do the comparison. Before we go into the history of it, and we select any one of these. Uh, uh, configurations and compare with mark as we as we did before and we actually in this particular case we see a lot of differences because these are actually the different uh, firewalls so let's close this uh, let me actually show you how we discover all these devices here in the admin console here in the, the risk manager section in this configuration source management in here is that you can actually you can define the credentials again you can give the read only credentials only you can discover the device you can add the device manually you can you know go into the consoles of checkpoint uniper you can get it from a uh, uh, csv file uh, you can schedule the discovery when you want to actually go and, and, and look for new routing table configuration changes to make sure that you you have uh, uh, everything uh, your topology up to date so that's uh, actually uh, pretty simple. One feature that uh, uh, customers like a lot is uh, when, when you are on the on the actual topology, you know, have the capability. Obviously, in the topology, you can do a search, like you do any search on Curator, and you can search for a specific section of your network, or you can see the, the whole thing. But once you have the, the, the view that you want, you can simply download that as an image, as a, you know, a graphic file, or you can then load it as a video, which is actually very, very, uh, very handy as well. Let's actually do a search. Let's do a new search. 
and let's say that we are going to be searching by uh, network and let's put a cedar uh, range uh, 10 dot uh, 0 dot 120 actually that one right there that one right there and perform a search and then that that's going to give us only that uh, section of that notice that the topology view doesn't get to show you the endpoint it's only uh, show you the subnet otherwise with the endpoint <laughs> the graphics will will be unmanageably big you can also in the search let's uh, let's do a new search you can actually do uh, searches for paths so let's see that uh, uh, let's say that I want to see the path between you know oh, this is uh, Google's DNS server so this is uh, going to the internet and the destination let's put uh, one of our internal address uh, IPs 10.0.120.1 that one right there and perform the search and we get that section and notice that it, it is interesting to see that some of these paths that we found have a red square in there why is that well because they those paths are actually being blocked and you can actually see you know we is actually uh, what's the reason why what that one is being uh, block in this particular case is blocked by a firewall rule that denies uh, access to it and pretty soon we're going to be actually adding uh, layer 7 uh, to these these are, these are layer uh, 2 and 3 uh, that, that we are uh, performing the search and actually you, you can see it when you do here on the search and uh, edit the, the, the current search uh, that the protocol here can be TCP well pretty soon we're going to be actually adding the capability of looking for applications layer 7 so give me you know uh, which are the path uh, to use Skype or Facebook or any 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 particular application in between which is actually I think it's uh, gonna be uh, very very handy the before I move into the policy monitor which is the net of the things on the next video let me actually show you the connections and the connections are, are really you know you know that Curator is fantastic uh, on looking at the flows but what the connection do is actually uh, uses all that correlates all the data about the events and the flows and make uh, maps of uh, between source and destination right um, including the flow control and these are the type of graphics that you actually uh, see in here uh, so and, and and then it uses all that information to actually uh, uh, support the policies and, and all the features in Curator. Let's do a search here on connections. Let's create a new search again and you see the same style of Curator when you know how to do a search on one module of Curator you can you know how to do it with uh, with everything else. So uh, in here for example on the search parameter let us select uh, what can we select here uh, for example let's, let's select flow application and in here let's select uh, peer to peer communication here it is and we add that filter and we perform the search and when we get back is precisely all those combinations IP uh, source and destination that are actually doing peer-to-peer uh, -peer type of traffic so we can actually you know click on this one on China and actually as we do in everything in Curator go into all the details of it uh, and see the actual you know traffic the rules and the activated and all that all that good stuff that we are so familiar with uh, with Curator we have built enough information to show what the policy monitor can do. That we'll see in the next video.